Welcome back to Blazing Toy Reviews. This is your host, Lito. And today we got a special Throwback Thursday. Yes, we got over here the 2005 Doctor Strange Marvel Legends from Toy Biz. And it's a Build-A-Figure with Galactus. And we all know right now how hot Galactus is with the 32 inches they're about to come out with, which is massive. So everybody's hurrying up and travel, try to grab their Silver Surfer. Or their perfect Doctor Strange uh, or Nova so let's see what this one brings to the table and come on guys let's check it out blazing yeah over here we have um, Doctor Strange um, what I love about this one is that it has kind of like a scope like if it was a uh, diamond select because you know how diamond select is very detailed and for a toy biz I, I find this very detailed and they did a great job with it um, um, nice facial sculpt with the gray hair on the side right there looking a lot a lot like Doctor Strange almost perfect alright guys this is in back of the box there's the rest of what you gotta pick up to build your Galactus with some cool facts that it came with former surgeon Stephen Strange is now master of the mystic arts and earth sorcerer supreme Aided by a magical cloak of levitation and the all-seeing eye of Agamotto, Strange battles the hidden forces of evil. Doctor Strange can call upon a great many magical spells, including incantations enabling him to cast illusions and hurl mystical bolts. A cloak of levitation grants Doctor Strange the power of flight and the eye of Agamotto also allows him to see through illusions and read minds. Also, he possesses a wide array of arcane texts, artifacts, books, and relics. When extraordinary events occur and the unexplainable becomes commonplace, rest assured, the doctor is in the house. Alright, so here we got our figure, um, beautiful, beautiful um, Toy Biz throwback over here from 2005, Dr. Strange, they actually did a great job with it, um, right down to the head sculpt, looks a lot like him, not only that, but these, um, some of the Toy Biz from this era remind me of Diamond Select, but an actual scale that we all like, you know, 6 inch? Um, because of the great detail that these figures came with, you know? Um, one thing I want to talk about also is the cape. You know, I know not everybody does the cloth. Not everybody likes the cloth, even though most people, I would say, prefer the cloth capes. If you're going to go plastic, man, if you're going to go with a plastic cape, why can't they do something as simple as this? You know, you would think that it's so soft that it might deteriorate within the years, but hey, this was from 2005. We're in 2021, you know? Been over 15 years and it's still nice and crispy. Well, nice and crisp, you know? Not crispy because this is like, look, it still feels real good. Um, uh, it, it, it moves real nicely, you know? And it's not like a weak plastic neither that you would think will break. You can actually, I'm actually putting force on this and we're good, you know? It's real good. Um, uh, yeah, it's made out of three pieces as well. So it gives it a real nice effect. Love the wrinkles on it and everything. Um, removes pretty easily, but at the same time, it goes in um, nice and sturdy too. So it's not like you're having something loose on there, you know? There it is. You can lay it over here if you wanted to. Um, this mystical cloak right there. And here we have him. Let's put this to the side. And let's get a little bit into the articulation that was available in this time frame, which I don't think is that bad. Because we do have double jointed um, elbows, double jointed knees. Um, we have a, a calf um, swivel right there, ankle. No side to side, but we do have some uh, toe pivot as well right there. So that's, that's all right. Um, also have 
what appears to be a ball joint type in there um but it hides it good because of the type of um clothes that he's wearing so it doesn't have those like ugly usual ball joints that a lot of people didn't like from that era you also have a nice um shoulder swivel here as well web shooter but you can actually put it even more lower if you wanted to on both head goes nice up nice down no side but you could i mean you could put it side to side but i'm saying no t side tilt um, no app crunch, but we, we do have a, a waist swivel right there, so that's cool. This is also like nice and soft plastic, and this is somewhat soft as well. Not super soft, but yeah. A lot of nice shading, a lot of nice detail throughout. The only main weak point, I would say, um, is sometimes um, if you don't put him quite right, he'll stand, no problem. Doesn't Doesn't take too much you know and it's pretty sturdy but if you don't if you put them a little too forward you know they'll give out a little right here at the ankles you know same thing with the back I mean like any figure you know but this was a little more weaker than usual but once you put the cloak on um, it actually tends to hold a little steadier as well so not bad at all yeah guys throwback Thursdays um, come here every Thursday subscribe like and comment please um i'll try to answer everybody um and let's let's make this happen guys blazing blazing where who we blazing that though huh where's it blazing i'm in space i'm already up there you feel me Yeah, check it out, man. It's your boy, he's I got free.